So I've just made <clears throat> what I'm using as a buffer pump box. Today I'm actually stuck where I have to park my car. It's around the corner way over there. So I'm not using a buffer tank. Running straight out of the wall, really low pressure. I don't know what it is, it's super low. See right now I have no pump going. It's not even shooting out. Crap, pressure at this place. Now the Washer Pro there, doing RO only. Getting three out of there, uh, 120 going in and three coming out into 200 feet of hose. I normally don't do this. I don't even have clamps on this because I was using this to feed this from my buffer tank. Just made this, I'll show you the insides here. Put in the top the switch, little analog dial. Stole that from Mark Monroe's idea. Here's a quick connect port for a charger. <coughs> I believe this is an ammo box or maybe a tackle, but I think it's ammo. Bought on Amazon. Got the analog little dial there with a fuse. 18 amp hour battery, 100 psi sure flow, 1.8 gallon a minute pump. There's another inline fuse to the charger, and I got a fuse uh, right there too. So I'm actually going to fire this up. Hopefully, I don't blow a hose off because, like I said, I only have been using this. Got it turned around backwards because I didn't bring a lot of fittings, and I normally use that as my supply line. So it normally has very little pressure going into it. I'm going to throw some clamps on that later. Let's fire that up. You can hear that. It goes from a drip to way too much pressure. It'll actually build up enough pressure that it will cycle off, building enough pressure behind that. And you see now, lots, 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 lots more than enough. I don't know if it's going to kill it using it as a booster pump, but we'll see. I mean, I can turn that down. You'll see that. If I go all the way down, it'll drop down in a minute. Anyway, this was around 200 bucks. Yeah, have a good one.